Hi guys, it's Mark here again. Today we're going to be learning rope by the Foo Fighters. Don't forget to subscribe to my videos if you like them. Right, we're going to start off with the Dave Grohl section, uh, which starts off the song. Okay, and then we, we've got our fingers here. Um, third finger on the fourth string, seventh fret. Little finger on the third string, seventh fret. And first finger on the second string, fifth fret. And we hit that once at the start of each bar. So one, two, three, four. <laughs> And you can hear the echo going on, and that's what happens on, on the tune. I haven't got my amp set up completely right to get the six beats, so it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, all right? But you kind of get the idea, so it's three, four. And then we move up here, 14 fourth string, 14 third string, 12 on the second string, hit it again once, and immediately after, you, you're taking the pressure off to kind of get that staccato sound, or short note in musical terms. Okay, so start off, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then we move down to ten on the fourth string, ten on the third string, eight on the second string, okay, and do it twice, like this, there we go, one, two, three, four, 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 Okay, now that's the Dave Grohl section. After he's been around that once, then Chris Shiflett c comes in um, with this riff. It's exactly the same finger pattern, but what he does is come in a, a half a beat late. So rather than coming in on the first beat and one, two, three, four, one, you come in on one and a half. So it's one, two, three, four, one. One and two. And, okay. Now. It goes one and two and take your little finger off and then back on again. So like this. One and two and three and one and two and three and like that. And it does the same thing up here. But then he takes off his first finger this time. So far you should have, move up, and then you move down to the same 10, 10, 8, yeah, same thing on this one as the first one, so it's a little finger that comes off, okay, and that, that's twice, excuse me, okay, and then the second time around that he does this, he just goes, So that is on the bottom string, five, seven, fifth string, five, seven, leave it, and then five on the fifth string, and then five on the first string. that throughout the verses and then we move on to the chorus part which is like so okay so this is what Dave Grohl is is now playing on the chorus section all right this is straight eighth notes so you're playing on on the beat and off the beat so on this particular chord it starts off with a G5 or a G power chord as it's quite commonly known so first finger third fret bottom string, third finger, fifth fret, fifth string, little finger, fifth fret, fourth string, and it's one and two and three and four, and, and then we change to an E5, which is open bottom string, second fret, fifth string, second fret on the fourth string, I'm doing them both with my first finger, again, eighth notes, one and two and three and four, and, and then we do a B5, second fret, fifth string, uh, fourth fret, fourth string, and fourth fret, third string. Again, eighth notes. And then we do an A5, open fifth string, second fret, fourth string, second fret, third string. Okay, all together. Mm -hmm. 
And then he does this, he changes, but rather than doing um, three strings on the power chords, he does two strings, so just the uh, bottom string and then the fifth string, but the same frets, yeah? So one and two and three and four and... And then he spreads his fingers out, four on the bottom string, seven on the fifth string, one and two and three and four and... And then five and seven, so bottom string, fifth fret, seventh fret on the fifth string, one and two and three and four and... Cross one fret, moves his little finger across to ninth fret, so six and nine. Okay, so you should have this. And then he does this pretty cool octave chord thing, which is like, so the octave chords are like this. Starts again. So that is two on the fifth string and four on the third string. And then you lean your first finger back so it mutes out this fourth string here. So then when you strum the strings, you only get those two notes ringing out and they form an octave, right? So that's a B note and that's a B note, all right? And it's move it up to four, five, seven, eight, 10, 12. So two, first finger. Four, five, seven, eight, 10, 12. Okay. And then it just changes slightly. And then it goes 15 and then 12, rather than 10 and 12, so. does that at the end again all right hopefully that makes sense any questions then uh, email me and now if, if you guys wanted to play the Dave Grohl section during the verses here it is so on the bottom string we're st starting off here on the seventh fret and it's so it's seven 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 ten seven okay now we do the same thing here on the ninth fret on the fifth string okay and then 10th fret on the bottom string, then we're going to go 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 8, 10. And then same again. And then 5 on the bottom string. Okay. Okay. And then that repeats again. Does it slightly, does it slightly differently this time, second time round. Then eight. So all the way around. Right, I hope that all that makes sense. Um, so that's the verses and the chorus section, and that's both guitars. There is another guitarist doing something else, but, but we're not really gonna worry about that. It's pretty much um, a, like a duplicate of, of what uh, Dave Grohl's playing. Um, I think there is a solo in there as well, but um, if you guys wanted me to show you that, then just email me. If not, um, then yeah, have a good time, and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Mark out for now.